Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in Christ, and all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth in peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord our God, save your people. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and glory is beyond understanding, whose mercy is boundless and love for us is ineffable. Look upon us and upon this holy house in your compassion. Grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and everything within me bless his holy name. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. As as he is this Theotokos, so tears so son in us. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercession of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Praise the Lord, O my soul, 
I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. His hope is in the Lord, he is God. So, Sonny, Masiet, Deu, O Anastasic Necron, Salondasi, Alleluia. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and to the ages of ages of men. Only begotten Son and Logos of God, the being immortal, you did condescend of your own will and for the sake of our salvation to be incarnate. Peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. I'm reading our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious most Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. God, you've established in heaven the orders and hosts of angels and archangels to minister you to your glory. Grant that the holy angels may enter together with us that we may serve and glorify your goodness. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages.
us worship and bow down to Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who arose from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown the power of his reign, he has conquered death by death and become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of Hades and has granted to the world great mercy. As a citizen of the desert and an angel incarnate, and the wonder worker you show forth, O Oxentius, our God bearing fathers, since you receive the spiritual gifts by fasting and vigilance and prayer, you can cure those who are ailing and heal their souls of those who run to you in faith. Glory to him who gave his might to you. Glory to him who placed a crown on you. Glory to him who operates through you, providing cures to all. Together, please, the hymn of our church. Protection of Christians unshameable, intercessor to our holy maker unwavering. Reject not the prayerful cries of those who are in sin. Instead, come to us, for you are good. Your loving help bring unto us who are crying in faith to you. Hasten to intercede and speed now to supplicate as a protection for all time. Theotokos for those who honor you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. God, you dwell among you, sing to your praise by the sacrament of Christ, by the hymn and glorified by the cherubim, and worship by all the heavenly powers.
mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the ages of ages. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive. Oh, clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with the voice of rejoicing. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, you are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and move among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from them, and be separate from them, says the Lord, and touch nothing unclean. Then I will welcome you, and I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit, and make holiness perfect in the fear of God. Peace be to you, the reader. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus went to the district of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and cried, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely possessed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered, It is not fair to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, O woman, great is your faith. Be done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed 
instantly. Children of our church school, please come to the front, spread out here if we can, in those first couple of rows. Thank you. If anyone is seated in those first two rows, if maybe we could make room for the kids just for a few minutes, that would be great. Good morning to all of you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, come on, now you have masks on and I can barely hear you anyway, so you really got to punch it. This is the day that the Lord has made. That is so much better. Thank you very much. Was anyone listening to the gospel today? Everybody raise your hands, I hope, right? Was it about a man or a woman? Uh-huh, come on. Huh? A woman? Right. A woman. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You got to love this woman. I, I'm telling you, what a story. I mean, I really love that woman. Although it's Valentine's Day, I should really tell Prosecutor, don't worry. I love you more than her. But <laughs> you got to love the woman in this gospel. She didn't give up for anything. See what happened? She had a daughter that was sick. She knew that Jesus was going to be the one to be able to heal her. So she comes crying after Jesus, Lord, help me, and he ignores her. Got to be a lesson there, right? Jesus just doesn't ignore people that are in need, right? And then as she goes to the disciples, and the disciples go to Jesus. He says, no, 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 I didn't come for her. I came for these people over here. Second time. Imagine what this woman feels like by then. What would you feel like? Twice ignored by God? She did not still give up. And she goes again and she says, Lord, have mercy on me. And he looks at her and he sees inside her heart and he sees the courage and he sees the love and he sees the thought she put into getting what she wanted for her daughter. It wasn't selfish. It wasn't about for her. It was about, about helping her daughter. He finally says, woman, go. Your faith has made her well. How about that? What an incredible model of finding a way. What's our theme this year that we've been using? Well, we have the overall theme that we have. But, but lately, as we kind of restart things, what has Goya been using as its motto? Anybody remember? It's three words. Somebody has to remember them because that's exactly what you've been doing. Who? Who here remembers those three words? Hmm? Who remembers? Come on. Huh? Where's Anna? Our Goya president has to know this because she just does. It's find a way. Find a way. All right. How about Anna? May I have you up here? And may I have Sophia? Uh oh. Okay. I need two others. Who are you going to bring up here that was here yesterday? The people that were here. Vasily. All right. So, hold that up. What is that? This is our luncheon box that we made today for Valentine's Day. Okay. But we don't usually do boxes. Usually, what happens for the lunch, Rebecca? I'm trying to keep my long arm distance here. We we're have a... Thing in the gallery and we distribute them from like pans and and then where do people eat them in the gallery no, no huh. in, the, in the grand room right yeah because we sit down and we have what a we whole... just have a luncheon yeah like a whole family luncheon right were we able to do that this year so what happened you got together at goya meeting and you all said 
We can undo our lunch this year. Oh, too bad, right? No. What did you do? We made up a way to be able to do it COVID safe and together. You together. We found a way. Everybody, we found a way, right? You found a way, didn't mm -hmm. you? All right. So tell me about some of the ways that you made this work. Rebecca, what's one of the ways? We cooked them on Thursday. Okay, so, and did you have like 40 Goyans in the kitchen all over each other, crawling each other, all no. over each other? What'd you do? There was a select few of Goyans that came and they signed up and then they cooked and stayed away okay. from Okay, Vasily, what else happened? Uh, we like packaged everything separately instead right. of putting it in big pans and dealing out. They're all in separate containers. Okay, so they found a way. Let's put that down for a second. There is one thing that did not happen with these beautiful souls. It was, hold it up, Rebecca, fear. Fear of doing what they always do, and that is enjoying fellowship, living their life in the church, serving you, serving God. It's just what they do. And when, quote, circumstances said, sorry, you can't do what you normally do, they weren't afraid. Just like the Canaanite woman today was not afraid. She was like, oh, Jesus isn't answering me today. I'm going to go away. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't love me. No, they weren't. She wasn't afraid. They weren't afraid. But there were three things that needed to happen in order to get this done. And they're out of another one of my favorite Bible verses. The first is, Anna, read it and tell them. Power. Everybody together. This is the one thing they needed. The second thing they needed, Rebecca, say it together. Okay, and the third, to figure out how to do it, to find a way, was together. Sound mind. Those three things are part of a beautiful Bible verse that I think spoke to the heart, it wasn't written yet, but it spoke to the heart of the Canaanite woman, and it spoke to the heart of all of you wonderful Goyans who put this thing together today. And that is this. Want to read this for me, Emily? Come on up. We go ahead and read it from there. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but the power and lo of love and the sound of mind. Okay, read it again. God, Slowly. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Together. Power, love, sound mind. That is from St. Paul's letter, second epistle to Timothy, who was a disciple of his. All that put together really says one thing for our Goyans today. What is it? Together, find a way. And guess what the beautiful thing is? It wasn't all about them. It really wasn't even all about you was about stepping up to the calling that God has for us all. So, as they said, we like getting together as a family. Goya Valentine lunch is usually helping us get together and enjoy company and really nice food as a family. But they didn't let that get in the way, so they found a way to have you go and enjoy it at your homes. But guess what? They're not even keeping the money. It's not for Goya, and it's not even for Holy Trinity Church. There is nothing that the Goyans are doing today that is directed inward. It's all directed outward. The love of serving you, the love of living their faith in their church and serving God, but it's all going, all the proceeds are going to the Metropolitan Maximus Youth Endowment. You know what that means? That means that sometime when summer camp opens up again, maybe, hopefully this summer, and, and there's a kid that's sitting there somewhere in another church that says, I, Mom, I really want to go to church. Dad, I mean, camp, Dad, can, you, can we go to camp? He says, no, you know, it's been really tough. You know, I, I lost my job during this whole thing or whatever. But there's going to be money there because that endowment is there to help things like that. All because they found a way for you to have your lunch, your brunch today, and still enjoy what we do as a life and a community. So, Goya, God bless you. Thank you for setting the model today. Thank you for being our modern Canaanite woman who said, nobody is going to keep me from God, and nobody is going to keep me from loving and serving those who love God. As a final little note, Anna, 
You want to open it up and let's see. Rebecca, Vasily, you want to take out the pieces and show them what's going on here? I just want you to see how creative and how hard they worked to do this. Anna, what do you have in there? So in the box itself, there's a quiche. There are two styles of quiche. There's um, Greek and there's meat lovers. And in that, we also have potatoes. All hand cut over 100 pounds of potatoes, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. OK. And then the second option is a dessert. And for gluten-free, it's a muffin. And then for other people, it's a kulurakia that's shaped like a heart. Really pretty. And Vasily. And then we got a fruit cup. And let me guess. You just, you just opened a Costco container of fruit and dumped it in there. No. Well, how no, did you do it? We cut it all and then put it into all the separate cups. Every single piece of fruit cut by hand by Argoyans, right? Can we offer them some thanks? Really, seriously? <laughs> so God bless you all. And let's keep this in mind one more time. One more time. Anna? Let's read this out loud for everybody so they can hear it, because this is the model that Goya has taught us today. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Wisdom and grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. and pleasures is worthy to approach, draw near and minister to the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even fully. The heavenly powers, but because of your ineffable and measurable love for us, you became man without alteration, without alteration or change of service, our high priest and Lord of all, and trusted us to celebration, this church of the sacrifice without the shedding of blood. You alone, Lord, our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated in the throne of the chair of the Lord, the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and well among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear therefore from you. Look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant. My soul and heart from evil consciousness enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit. Thus, with the grace of priests, that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Do I come with bowed head and pray? Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children. Make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts. For you, Christ, our God of the offer and the offered, the one who receives is distributed into you. We give glory together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. We who mystically represent the cherubim sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Let us lay aside the cares of this life that we may receive the King of all invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Ita hero vi mysticos iconizum des ketizopio triadi ton trisagni mon prosadendes pasintin diotikina pothomata meri manos in vasile antonori pos examinites angelicas auratos dorifurum in daxasin. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, let us worship God our King and bow down before Him. Left it for skinny, so we can press passion. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our Come all you faithful, let us worship the holy resurrection of Christ. We behold through the cross, joy comes to all the world. Ever blessing, Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For enduring the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the multitude of your people. I acknowledge my transgressions and my sins are before you against the Lord. I send them up with even as I I 
making a sound of joy and gladness at the bones that you have broken, we rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and a right spirit within me. Do not cast in ways of my presence. God, remember those who love us and those who hate us. In peace, lift up your hands to the holy places and bless the Lord. Always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. 
for all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Bless this, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Bless this, o Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Bless this, o Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. Accept the sacrifice of praise and those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners that let us reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and the transgressions of the people. <clears throat> Make us worthy to find grace in your presence that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you. That your good and gracious spirit may abide with us, with the gifts you're presented, and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, <clears throat> now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. I love your Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress. I will love you. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the Scriptures. And he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. And in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, play, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. 
For you are God, ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all things we know and do not know for blessings, seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you're surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Blessed powers, merciful master, we also proclaim and say you are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us. On the night he was delivered up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Remembering therefore this command the Savior, the King, the Cross, for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension to heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming. <clears throat> We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Das sagt uns son si prospero men, catapanda, panda. Please bow your heads to the end of the next hymn. Once again, we offer you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we ask, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. God be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. O Teos, Celeste, me, to Mata, Lope, me, so may God be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So if any of you to those who are taken down to a vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, in the Holy Spirit in heaven. Kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment, but in worship. We offer you this spiritual worship for those who are those in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, and missionaries. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Saint Abraham, Bishop of Christ, Mesopotamia, our Holy Father, 
accept your son and his holy Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Savas. Grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind and all your people. And all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name, of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our loving God, who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope. We ask, pray, and entreat, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence, without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pater imon, o endis ranis, aiestito to nomasu, el theto i vasiliasu, genithito to thelimasu, o sen urano gepitis gis, ton arto imon trapiusion, dosim in simeron, ke afisim in ta ofilimeta imon, o skemis afim in sfilete simon, ke mis in ekisimas aspirasmon, Alarisi <laughs>
Amen. We give thanks to you, invisible King, by your infinite power you've created all things, and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven. When those who have bowed their heads before you, they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Lord Jesus Christ, who God hears from your holy dwelling place in the glorious throne of your kingdom, you're enthroned on high with the Father and also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us. And let your pure body and your precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and thrust to all your people. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let us be attentive. The holy gifts for the holy people of God. Ta'ayati sa'yis. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and in deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal, amen. How shall I, whom unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation, <clears throat> but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body, and the pledge of your future life and kingdom. It is good to me to cling to God and to place in him hope my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas. But as the thief, I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God.
please forgive me, the unworthy priest and sinner.
O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Exalt her, God above the heavens, and may your glory go on the earth. Exalt her, God above the heavens, and may your glory go on the earth. Exalt her, God above the heavens, and may your glory go on the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving an us awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Glory. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our soul, that on this day you've made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in your right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, give the blessing. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of light. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Please join us today as we offer 40-day memorial prayers for the servant of God, Harriet or Hariklia Navarro. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Of old you created me from nothing and honored me with your divine image. 
When I disobeyed your commandment, O Lord, you cast me down to the earth from where I was taken. <clears throat> Lead me back again to your likeness and renew my original beauty. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. I am an image of your ineffable glory, though I bear the scars of my transgressions. On your creation, Master, take pity and cleanse me by your compassion. Grant me the homeland for which I long, and once again make me a citizen of paradise. <laughs> Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the threefold radiance of the one God let us praise. And let us shout in song, Holy are you, Eternal Father, Co-Eternal Son and Divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith and deliver us from the eternal fire. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who for the salvation of all gave birth to God in the flesh, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed Theotokos, may we find paradise. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Among the saints, O Christ, give rest to the soul of your servant, where there is no pain, no sorrow, no suffering, but only life eternal. Within your peace, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the soul of your servant, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are our God, who descended into Hades, and loosen the pains of those who were chained. Grant rest also, O Savior, to the soul of your servant. <laughs> Oh. 
Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great love, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the departed servant of God, Hariklia, who has fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all her sins, both voluntary and involuntary. May the Lord God place her soul where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of her sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who have trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil, giving life to your world, give rest to the soul of your servant Hariklia, who has fallen asleep in a place of light, a place of repose, a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, and suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin she has committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and is sinless. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord, for you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Hariklia, O Christ our God, and to you we give glory with your eternal Father and your all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Everlasting be your memory, our sister, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Everlasting be your memory, dear sister, you are worthy of eternal blessedness and eternal memory. Together, please. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning to you all. In 1850, British poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning published a book of 44 love poems, or sonnets. She had hesitated to publish them, but she was eventually encouraged by her husband, Robert Browning, also a poet, and who was also the object of all those poems. He knew her literary talents well because during their courtship of two years, they had exchanged hundreds of love letters. You may know that name, Elizabeth Barrett Browning, only if because of one of those famous sonnets, Sonnet 43. How does it start? Anybody know? How do I love thee? That's right. How do I love thee? And here, for your benefit and blessing and joy today is a little bigger excerpt. <sighs> okay. How, <clears throat> How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. 
I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight. For the ends of being an ideal grace, I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. That's good. Today is Valentine's Day. And uh, alas, we are not in the romantic sonnet era of 1850 anymore. In fact, for the most part, we're not even in the Hallmark Cards era of 1950 anymore. We're probably more actually in the center of the texting and tweeting age in which Browning's 633 character Ode to Love will have been cut off somewhere between uh, candle and light, probably and would have lost most of its impact when viewed on a six-inch phone screen. So, uh, then are odes of love, things of the past? I certainly hope not. And really, the answer is kind of no and yes. No, because regardless of the technology or the medium used for it, we'll always have this innate desire to show love for others, whether it's a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, just people that we love through whatever we can, even if today it's only an emoji. <laughs> but yes, it's a thing of the past because <clears throat> we just heard one, and history has so many other masterpieces of odes to love <clears throat> with which to grace us. And this one, believe it or not, goes even deeper and more intimate and more intense and more personal than the one we just heard. No worries, we've got children present. It's one that they can and should understand, and you can and should share it with them, because it's an ode to a love that they need to know all the days of their life. What if God wrote an ode of love to you? What would it say? Well, here's one writer's version of God's How Do I Love You sonnet, at least expressed in a fourth century figure not otherwise known, I must say, for romance. <clears throat> How do I love thee? I am a father. I am brother. I am bridegroom. I am dwelling place. I am food. I am clothing. I am root. I am foundation. All, whatever you desire, I am. Be in need of nothing. I will even be a servant, for I came to minister not to be ministered unto. I'm a friend, and member, and head, and brother, and sister, and mother. I am all. Only cling closely to me. I was poor for you, and a wanderer for you, and on the cross for you, and in the tomb for you. Above, I intercede for you. On earth, I've come for your sake, an ambassador from my Father. You are all things to me, brother and joint heir and friend and member. What more would you want? Perhaps that beautiful ode by, of all people, St. John Chrysostom, who wrote the liturgy also today, reflects, even if only faintly, the deep and the longing love that God has for us, that God has for you. Embodied in the sacrificial love revealed in John 3.16, you heard it in the liturgy today and every liturgy, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Now, if you were, you yourself, were to receive a beautiful sonnet like the one that Browning wrote from another person, how would you respond? What would it do to you? I don't mean externally, like what would you go and buy or what would you write in return, but how would you respond inside? What would happen to your heart wouldn't it begin to burn with a sense of really just pure and beautiful love? 
And wouldn't part of you, honestly, in some sense of humility, say, how can I possibly deserve or be worthy of someone's intense love like this? And all this focus and attention. Whether such love is romantic or whether it's found in other relationships, you don't have to be married today or dating to understand what love is all about. It cannot help, really, but evoke a powerful response of love back. Now, take that, multiply it, purify it, intensify it, and internalize it. And when God himself is the one on the other end of that love, we begin to approach what the fathers and mothers of the church have for centuries called the most powerful form of relationship we can have with God. And it's what happens to us inside as a response, divine love. In Greek, theon eros. Metropolitan Hierotheos of Nathplaktos says of it, divine eros is not human in origin, but divine. He also says it's accompanied by certain characteristics. First, it is filled with longing. A person who loves God, he says, feels a flame within them that entirely burns within their heart. I know some of you, for sure, and I certainly hope all of you have had moments like that or you wouldn't be here today and last week and the week before and next week and every time that God draws you here through his love. Second, it endures. Christians are not infatuated by God's love and we don't fall in and out of that love like a bunch of teenagers. But according to Metropolitan Hierotheos, divine love is continuous and it's uninterrupted. It flourishes perpetually and it blossoms. It knows no age. And third, it's personal, very personal. Divine love is not, divine love, theoneros, is not general and impersonal, sort of like it's, I'm one of the many people today that is worshiping you and saying, I love you, God, but rather it's closely connected with the person of Christ, connected to our person. The one occupied by this longing sees no one else. Now, you've had probably flashes of this during your life, moments when you feel that you are the object of God's affection. Everybody has one way or another. How many times have we known in our heart a blessing or a rescue, an answered prayer, a joy, or even, and these are hard to see except in hindsight, a challenge or a sorrow, as if the Lord, you know, and all of those are a personal note from God. Well, then what do we do? We send a text. I don't know. Anybody here have God's number? <laughs> Divine love doesn't respond out of obligation, as if the Lord needs a thank you card from you, but out of realization and revelation that the hand of God has written that message on your heart. I will help you, it says sometimes. I am with you, it says at other times. But it always says, I love you. Unlike lesser human relationships that can come and go, God's love stays with us forever. And if we can truly accept it, we will never be the same again. Metropolitan Hierotheos described it this way. The love of God has many implications for the lover, since it transforms the entire existence and brings it into relationship and communion with God. And the same person, like St. Paul said in the epistle today, becomes then a temple of the Holy Spirit. Now that's really a fascinating way to describe it. Change, right? Because oftentimes marriage counselors, at least the good ones, will tell you, never marry someone who you think you will be able to fully love once they change this or that. Here, God is saying he loves us as we are and loves us so much that he will do anything that is necessary to help us grow by our own choice into the fullness of the person he has made us to be. 
And how has he done that? He does that through the gift of faith. Knowing faith is the true key to falling in love with God, St. Nectarios penned another ode of love, or a sonnet, if you wish, to faith itself as the path to the love of God. He says this, it's called a hymn of praise to faith. Faith, divine gift, fruit of divine revelation, knowledge of mysteries, heavenly wisdom, teacher of divine truths, ladder of heaven and earth, link of God and man, evidence of divine friendship, and love, expression of the transmission of heavenly gifts. With what words can I describe your power? With what terms can I express your energies? You fill the faithful with the spirit of the fear of God. You generously grace them with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. You fill the heart of the believer with love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, meekness, and temperance. So, within everything, so when everything else in this world proves itself to be a transient infatuation and a love not worthy of our soul, St. Porfirio says in his book, Wounded by Love, what it means to fall in love with the one who already loves you so much that you cannot possibly imagine it. This is how each of us is called and made to love God. If you're in love, he says, you can live amidst the hustle and the bustle of the city center and not even be aware that you're in the city center. You don't see the cars, you don't see the people, you don't see anything else within yourself. You are with the person that you love. You experience her or him, let's say. You take delight in her or him. He or she inspires you. Are these things not true? Do you remember the days of those that are married, especially in those days before marriage? You couldn't think of or talk about, or everybody got tired of you talking about, right? That's the kind of deep, deep love. And that's just a preview, right? He says, Christ, this imagine the person that you love then is Christ. Christ is in your mind, Christ is in your heart, Christ is your whole being, Christ is everywhere. So imagine being in love with God that much. But he loves you so much more. It's in your reach. St. Porfirios goes on to make it very personal by reminding us that we are called to see Christ in everyone, so our love for him and our love for others become inseparable and entwined. One thing is our aim, he says, love for Christ, for the church, for our neighbor, love worship of and craving for God, the union with Christ, with Christ within the church, is paradise on earth. In closing, my dear Holy Trinity family, whom I really say today on Valentine's Day, I love more than I can tell you in so many ways. Today may be the day that the world sets aside to make sure that we take time to express our earthly love for one another, but every day is, as you heard today from the kids, with the kids, every day is the day that the Lord has made. Why? For us to fall in love with God over and over and over again. So let's worship Him together. Let's serve Him. Let's share Him with others who need so desperately to know that message of love. But above all, let's tell Him today, and every day that we love him as we fall in love with him over and over and over again. God, I love you. Amen. Please rise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> glory to Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God. 
through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious apostles, the holy God-bearing fathers, the holy victorious martyrs of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, Saint Oxentios of the mountain, Abraham the bishop, Cyril, equal to the apostles and teacher of the Slavs, and Nicholas, the new martyr of Corinth, whose memories we celebrate this day, our father among the saints, John Christus, the archbishop of Constantinople, and of all the saints, through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity bless and protect you. And may I ask you this? I know right now, because of all these restrictions and stuff, we're not doing the kiss of peace, which has been so much a hallmark of, of life here at Holy Trinity Church. And our, but even separated as you are and masked as you are, can you just kind of do a 360 to everybody within your little circle there? And even if you want to, somebody across the way, and just put it into action today. Tell them, I love you. Let's go. Just turn around, turn around, left, right, forward, back. I love you. Heart-shaped symbols, blowing kisses, whatever it is. If it's your husband and wife, go ahead and give them a hug. Nobody's going to stop you. Thank you. Thank you. And you may be seated, please. Well, we, whoops, one second, please. We welcome you all today, and we, of course, welcome the members of the Navarro family. May God grant rest the soul of his servant, Harriet, and uh, thank you for offering the memorial today. Uh, there are, <laughs> as we haven't had for the past almost year, there are no trays today, but please, I haven't said anything for a long time, but uh, if you, I believe that there is a tray in the narthex, right, George, is there? On the way out? Oh, that's for, okay. So today's tray is for the uh, Metropolitan Maximus Youth Endowment. If you did not purchase the, any quiche and you wish to make just a voluntary offering, please go ahead and drop, if you'd like to, drop something in there. And again, all that stuff goes purely to the endowment fund. Uh, but otherwise, for regular offerings, especially for those of you online, remember that you can go onto our website you can send checks in still if you're still a check type of a person. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your app. It's all, all the instructions are there. Uh, just go to holytrinitypgh.org slash give and you'll find the information there. Um, so, for those of you that were here, you heard the message of the Goyans today uh, concerning the, the Valentine's Day brunch to go. And I'm so proud of them and so thankful, Empress Yutera Becky and the other parents, the Goya parents, uh, for helping coordinate that, um, especially Evan and uh, Kelly uh, Kaparakis, uh, Dan Willow, and any of the other parents that may have been there to help out. So here's how the day goes with this, since we're not able to enjoy our lunch together, our brunch together here. When, if, you pre, if you did not pre-order, there is a table with just a, a few extras. Not a lot, but there's some because they prepared a few extras. Um, we're trying to get you used to pre-ordering, so there's not a lot of extras. But if you did pre-order, there are two tables in the gallery, and they're in alphabetical, alphabetical order, so go ahead and just find your section and tell them your name. They have order forms with your, they'll put together your order and give it to you. Uh, those things are really nice. You just go home, you put it in the oven for like 20 minutes or so. Uh, not the whole box, but the quiche and the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Please, we didn't get specific about that, okay? So no, anyway, uh, do not put the fruit in the oven or the box and, and enjoy a lunch on, a brunch on Goya today. Um, uh, let's see.
What else do I have? Oh, so, yes, let me get the bulletin. We actually, I'm so used to not holding the bulletin because we haven't had a whole lot of things going on, but we are going to start. But we actually have two new things in the bulletin and one new surprise not even in the bulletin. So what have I told you before? That beautiful flower, right? Holy Trinity's ministries, just opening up, a petal at a time. It's just come on. It's spring. It's time for things to open and blossom again. So we have coming up um, the St. Nicodemus men's ministry is starting again. Uh, that is on Thursday mornings. We do it at 7 o'clock. The dates are in here. It's not every Thursday, but the dates are in here. And uh, yes, they are in here. And we simply, it's whatever men decide to come, and we do a quiet prayer service here in the morning, including some personal prayer time. What a beautiful place to spend in that time and start your day. And then we'll have, uh, we'll figure out what we do. We used to go up to Panera. That's why we call it Prayer in Panera. But I'm not really sure what, what's going to happen. We will decide whoever's here and see how we want to handle that. Maybe we'll just stay in the gallery. Maybe we'll go up there. I do not yet know. We'll see where the Holy Spirit takes us. Uh, also, this uh, on the 23rd, which is not this week, but next week, we have a five-week series starting with our St. Lydia's Women's Study Fellowship. And there's a book you see it in the bulletin called Renewing You. And there's some titles of some of the chapters there. Uh, it's really a, a wonderful welcome return of that ministry that's been with us for so long. It's probably our longest, it is our, absolutely our longest running study ministry of this church. And uh, all women are invited. And that one is not only in person, but if you want to register to do it online as well, we'll be in the fireside room. It's nice and big. We do have it set for video conferencing. So if you're not able to attend, you still want to do that. We put it in the evenings this time because sometimes women have told us, sorry, I'm working. So uh, it gives a chance for everybody. And this is great news for those of you who have been attending Father Rodri's Bible study. He is starting it again this Wednesday. That is a news flash, not even in the bulletin. So it'll be starting up on Wednesday. It'll go up until Lent begins. <clears throat> and then for the first Wednesday presentation of Lent, it'll finish up the Gospel of Matthew. What a beautiful idea that is because the Matthew 28 is all about the resurrection. So we'll kind of start Lent focusing on the end, which is the resurrection. And... Um, there is also a Philopkos meeting coming up on the 21st. So, again, thank you for your wonderful cooperation. Thank you for making all of these things possible. Thank you for your desire and your love to continue to move the ministries and the faith of this church forward and your own. Every single one of those is just another way that you tell God, as I said today, I love you. I don't want to be without you. I know God is always with us, but it's so good to be within the Christian community and the body of Christ. So what a wonderful thing it is. Uh, all of these things, kind of parenth parenthetically enclose that idea of whatever the safe practices are at the time, you know, maybe changing in two weeks, three weeks, five weeks, who knows. But whatever they are, those are the things that we observe. Thank you for your masks. Thank you for your distancing and all of that. But just let's do what we have to do, but let's not have that stop us doing from do, from us doing what God is calling us to do as his church okay god bless you have a great day